uh, Rebel interviews with Gates this Friday. But most of all, we really want to thank Mrs. Coyle and the Rebel Tech Club for making all the decorations that you see around the school. They did an awesome job. So you could just give a round of applause. Now, we all know that one of the biggest things for um, a team to be successful is their teamwork. So today we have a whole bunch of activities um, that's going to test the Rebel football team's ability to work as a team. So, um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to get on with the school song by the Willow River Pet
you guys are going to do a three-legged race that way, and then you're going to hand the ball off to them, and they're going to do a three-legged race back, okay? You cannot use your hands at all. What you guys have to do is you're going to be standing like this, put the ball in between your hip, and you have to keep it there and walk down the gym. And the first, first, um, first team to get it there and back.
the cheerleaders, uh, Willow River Pet Club, and the student council for everything uh, that they've done as far as support this year and uh, support here today at the Pet Festival. Please give them a round of applause. Also, a great big thanks to uh, the communities around here that have supported these uh, football players um, and all the support, like Spencer said, at the Metrodome last Friday was great. Uh, and again, all the support from you guys as fans also. So thank you very much. We go back five days ago, there were 68 AA football teams starting playoffs. Right now, there are two left in the state playing football, and these guys are one of those two teams. Give them a round of applause. These guys are playing in Caledonia on Friday, and like I've told them all season long, to be the best, you have to beat the best. And Caledonia has won three of the last four state championships. So to be the best, you guys, you gotta beat the best on Friday. Let's go. Alright, All right. thanks, Bojack. And now uh, we want everybody to watch and learn as the boys jump on.
Sean, you come stand up here too. Yeah. Oh. That's right, guys. Hey, one of you two is safe. One of you two aren't going to get us high. Drum roll. All right, drum roll. Drum roll. Get my neck. Open wide the net. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Ready? Ready? 
That's what that's what Moff does. That's what Moff does. That's what Moff does. Should we just throw another dog? Maybe nobody wanted for that one.
for me or good. And I think you have Spencer and Singapore. Okay, You're not paying attention, you're not going full speed, you're not ready to be physical, they will nail you. They will knock you on your butts and they'll run right by you. This is the best special teams you'll see all year, maybe ever. So all you guys that are on special teams, you need to step up your game today. State championship level special teams is what we need. State championship level special teams. Step up and meet the challenge. When we kick off, BJ, squib kick it, bounce it around, get down the field, break down, see where the ball's going, and as a unit, swarm to the football. Any questions, special teams. Okay, defensively, uh, uh, again, 38 is their power running back, their tailback. Any of you that are coming in to tackle number 38, if you try and grab him around the shoulder pads, you try and just arm tackle him, he's going to shrug you off with a smile on his face and keep running down the field. You get a chance to tackle that kid, it has to be low. It has to be attacking the ankles, attacking the shins, tackling down low, and then seven, eight other guys coming in to swarm on that tackle. One guy's not going to bring him down, and one guy for sure is not going to bring him down around the shoulder pads. He's the strongest runner you'll have seen all year, which is the way it should be in a state championship game. Put the best athletes in the state on the field and see who comes out on top. When 38 has the ball, you gotta go low. Grab hold, hold on, and then defense swarm. Don't rely on just one person or two people to make that tackle. You gotta swarm to the ball. Cornerbacks mix up your, your coverage, your man-to-man. -man. Sometimes be uptight in the face, sometimes back off a little bit, give them different looks. Don't give seven, eight yards. If you know it's third and six, fourth and six, third and eight, they're gonna go just past the sticks and come back towards the sidelines. Okay, they don't come back to the middle of the field, they come back towards the sidelines, the ball's already in the air on the way. So we're ready for that. Any questions defensively? Have to be physical on the line of scrimmage, and we got to swarm with 11 guys to the football. Hey, offense. Offensively, uh, from week one, week 14, nothing's changed. Hey, offensive line, down block, we need a down block. Pull, we need to pull. Get a body on a body. Put your helmet in the correct spot. Go where I need to pull. Okay, make that wall. Form that wall. We started talking about it. The first 10 minutes of the first practice of the year, forming that wall. How monotonous that was, and no pads on that. We walked through everything we did. Form this wall. No one gets through our wall. And that's what we have to do tonight. Same thing we did on that first day of practice. Form that wall. Pullers come help out that wall. Running back find the lane and hit. We talked a lot. This defense flows really well. Okay, so the cutback lane might be there. This trap, Gasser, don't look for the cutback lane. Okay, let it happen. If it happens, take it. But don't sit and wait for the cutback lane or they'll swarm you real fast. Very fast swarming. Swarming defense very similar to ours. Okay, obviously we get rolling, like I said, uh, all, all the plays in the playbook are open. Delta be ready, Eagle be ready, this package be ready. Okay, just roll. Have fun, folks. That's the first day of practice. All we've talked about is state championship. We haven't talked about section championships, conference championships, about being undefeated. All we've talked about with this group all year is state championship. You guys have worked your butts off to put yourselves in the position to be state champions. We talked about it yesterday. We're a bunch of ordinary people walking through the hallways of any high school in Minnesota that have come together to do something extraordinary. Go out there today and be extraordinary. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
chance to have that cutback lane. Stay on your guy. I know they're good. You know what? You can't expect anything less from a team that's playing the state championship. Stay on your blocks, drive block until you hear the whistle. I don't care if you have to double team on a guy. So what? We leave one guy on block and Caesar picks him up on the kickoff. Instead of a 38, maybe now we have to cut it up a little bit inside. No big deal. We got to stick to what we do best. Let's go. We got to pound the ball. Keep your heads high, spirits high. Let's go. We got two players left. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Everyone. People who would love to be in the soccer room. Kyle Peterson would love to be able to walk again, let alone be able to put this jersey on. You think you can't go anymore? He can't even walk. And he would die to be in the soccer room with us right now. Pushing and giving everything he's got to be in the soccer room. To go out there and leave it all in the field because he did it every single time he played. Go out there. When you can't push, push for whoever you have to. I don't care if it's the guy next to you, if it's somebody on the crowd, if it's somebody who's dead, I don't give a shit. Push forever who the hell you have to push for. Go through it. Everybody in here is dying right now. You know what? You gotta come on, you gotta push. Who's got more heart? That's what it's gonna come to in the second half. Who's got more heart? Let's go, boys! And you know they're gonna come out guns blazing, they're ready to go again in the second half, just like they were the first half. It's not gonna be any different. Do whatever you do, 56, 58, yeah, they're big boys, they're huge, there's no doubt about it. Do whatever you have to do to get a body on. D line, if you have to crab in front of them and grab knees, go ahead. Okay, now, special teams wise, we start off kicking off. 
EJ, your swim kick, and it doesn't have to be super deep and fast swim kick because that's just like a regular kick that we want it bouncing down, we want it going fairly slow. We don't want it to stop at the 40 yard line. We don't yeah. want an onside kick. Okay, we want it down 30 or deeper, but it doesn't need to get there super fast. We want it bouncing around and give our kickoff team time to get down the field. Uh, punt, obviously, will be a safe punt or punt safe uh, rest of the game. Okay, so be ready for that in punting type situations. Anything special teams, otherwise we're moving on to defense. On that punt safe, if they line up on the nose, he's just going to twist over and bring the middle back in. So if he lines up on that nose, you got him, I'm coming down. Okay, got that? Okay. okay, now defensively, uh, uh, in what Spence was just talking about, D tackles, and, and it, it's just grunt work, it sucks as a job to have to do D tackles, but you got to stay low crab and take out as many offensive linemen as you can take out so they're not getting to our linebackers. It's grunt work. Okay, state championship game grunt work is what it is. But that's what we need. We need the grunt work on the line of scrimmage because right now they're controlling it. They're getting right away to our linebackers. Outside linebackers, especially on when that quarterback keep comes towards you, outside linebackers, you've got fullback, you've got uh, tailback, you've got wingback all coming at you. you got to just get up there and blow that up. Okay? Come in low and, and not down at the ankles because that would be like a chop spot on the defense there. But right at the hips and blow up as many of those blockers as you can because what you're doing, what you're doing for sure is, is as that's all coming, you're backpedaling, trying to pick your way through all those guys, and there's just too much traffic. You gotta lower your shoulder and run those people over, force the cut back, you gotta, you gotta attack from outside in, okay, and be like a bulldozer. So you can keep your feet, keep your feet, and drive, 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 and force that back into our defense. But if you're backpedaling, you're giving yards, plus in that quarterback, once he gets around the corner, he's just picking his way through you guys. Okay. Somebody's got to come in and blow that up, make a pile, so that he has nowhere to kick through. He's got a big pile in front of him, and then the rest of our defense gets a chance. Okay, So we have to be physical on that. But D tackles your key here. Um, defensive ends, as you're, as you're fighting through, especially Ezra, where's Ezra? Okay, At some point there, after you've got contact, then as the plays one, cut that contact and get that kid off you. Okay, you're stronger than him, you're better than him. Cut that contact and get that kid off of you. When 38 is running the ball, we, we've been talking about this all week, we gotta attack low. Okay, safety when you're coming in, Andy Olson on 38's got ball, you're gonna be coming in at his shins, at his ankles, low. Okay, we're not tackling up here on line uh on the shoulder pads, middle linebacker, same thing. If you get your hands on, it's gotta be waist or lower. Okay, it's gotta be waist or lower. Um, certain situations, be ready again for Tyler Caesar, in for Jake, Jake for, dis, uh, for uh, BJ, and BJ out. Okay. The other thing, Andy Olson again, uh, where's Andy? You can't completely go to BJ's side and help over the top, but as soon as that quarterback looks to BJ's way, you try, you, you just bail and go and help over the top, okay? Help over the top on that. And then Josh Caesar, okay, stay tight on your guy, okay? BJ, what's been. When you're right up bumping and hitting them at the line, you've been doing a better job because then you can't just run straight down the field. Okay, but 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 square yourself up. Okay, square yourself up. Don't be at a 45. Square yourself up, and then for you, stay tight on that coverage. Okay, because even though you've got speed to, to close, you lose track of where he maybe has gone. Stay tight on your coverage. Trust your athletic ability and stay tight on your coverage. Okay. Any questions defensively? Okay, go ahead. Uh, offensively, okay, we've got a lot of a lot of third and ones, a lot of fourth and ones. Okay, we just need that extra yard. We're actually grinding on these guys. This is going to be more of a grinding game than we've ever played before. Obviously, okay, two more quarters of grinding it out. Get a couple scores on the board. Okay, just kind of come up with these big stops now. No real big adjustments. Okay, offensively, all we got to do is start out manning them. Right now, they're taking control of the line of scrimmage. And we said they're one of the few time outs. That's not how Rebels play football. We control the line of scrimmage. We control the line of scrimmage and make them beat us while we have control of the line of scrimmage. So take control of that back, okay? You need to get in your guys and block the best you can every single play. Okay, there's no, I, I screwed up on this play, I'll try to block it better the next time. Block your best because that's what we need right now. Run back, we need an extra yard. We need those tough yards right now. Grind those tough yards out and we'll take that, okay? Grind those tough yards out, be patient. Grind four, grind four, grind four yards. Keep getting these four yards at a time because then we get some first downs. When we get some first downs, keep our off the field, keep that stuff rolling. Biggest thing you have to understand is right now at halftime, it's 14 nothing. They were expecting at least twice as many points at this point. I guarantee you, they did not expect to be in a ball game still. The way they played, 
as the season has gone on. They've expected to already blow you out by past history of playing us. They did not expect to still be in a game with you guys at halftime. It's still a football game if you go out there and make it one. It's still a football game if you go out there and make it one. Because I guarantee they're in that locker room, they were expecting at least two more scores by halftime. At least two more. Game over. Well, it's not game over. It's two more quarters of state championship football still to play. Two more quarters of digging deep as a team playing state championship football. Whoa, 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 whoa.
you guys. You guys deserve it. You guys make a lot of money. You guys make a lot of money. I wouldn't have any other way. That's why. Oh, it's a Anybody I miss? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,